Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you like our content, please press like button, it really help us. And if you need video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. My today's video is on level measurement by using differential pressure transmitter. In this video, you will learn how to measure level in close tank by using differential pressure transmitter. Secondly, you will learn how to measure level in open tank by using differential pressure transmitter. In addition to this, you will also learn how to measure level in tank when capillary seal is connected to tank. And, in last section, I have given some calculation examples of differential pressure level measurement. So please watch this video till the end. First of all, what is differential pressure transmitter? Differential pressure transmitter is a device that measure the difference between two pressures. And it has three manifolds. Two manifolds are equalizing manifolds, and it remains open during normal operation. This is block manifold, and it remains close during normal operation. How to measure water level in closed tank with differential pressure transmitter? This method of level measurement is also known as wet leg calibration method. And specific gravity of process fluids plays crucial role in calculation of calibration range for DP transmitter. In this example, let's assume that tank is filled with water. And impulse line is also filled with water. As we know that specific gravity of water is 1. So, it does not affect the calibration range. However, if impulse line or tank is filled with another fluid, then we need to multiply specific gravity of process fluids with height of liquid to calculate calibration range. As you can see from the picture that, 0% is minimum level of liquid in a tank. And 100% is maximum level of liquid in a tank. Transmitter position does affect the level measurement in wet leg calibration method. So, if your transmitter is installed below 0% baseline, then you need to measure the distance between transmitter and 0% baseline. In this example, differential pressure transmitter is located at 10 inch below from the 0% baseline, and one end of tube is connected with high port of transmitter and another end is connected with tank. This tube is also filled with water, and it put pressure on high side of transmitter. So, this is reason that transmitter position is very important in closed tank level measurement. In other words, if you do not measure distance accurately from transmitter to 0% baseline, you won't be able to measure level accurately. Now, as you can see from the picture that, wet impulse line is connected with low port of DP transmitter. This impulse line is filled with water. Vertical height of wet impulse line is also very important in closed tank level measurement. So, measure the height of wet impulse line very carefully. In this example, measured height of impulse line is 54 inch. Last but not least, there is 30 inch distance between 0% baseline and 100% level. Now, we are all set for calculation of calibration range for differential pressure transmitter. So, let's go to calculation table. As you can see from the table that, at 0% level, DP transmitter high side has 10 inch H2O pressure, and it multiply with specific gravity of water which is 1. So, input high side has 10 inch H2O pressure at 0% level. Similarly, at 0% level, water in wet impulse line put 54 inch H2O pressure on low port of transmitter, and it multiply with specific gravity of water. So, transmitter low side has 54 inch H2O pressure at 0% level. Now, 
Differential pressure is a subtraction of input high side pressure and input low side pressure. So, 10 minus 54 is equal to 44. Hence, differential pressure is minus 44 inch H2O at zero percentage level. Now, let's understand the calculation at 100 percentage level. At 100 percentage level, DP transmitter high side has 40 inch H2O pressure, and it multiply with specific gravity of process fluid, which is water in this example. Here, 40 inches total distance from transmitter to 100 percentage line. So, DP transmitter high input side has 40 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. Similarly, at 100 percentage level, transmitter low side has 54 inch H2O pressure, and it multiply with specific gravity of water, which is 1. So, DP transmitter low side has 54 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. Now, differential pressure is difference between input high side pressure and input low side pressure. So, 40 minus 54 is equal to minus 14. At 100 percentage level, differential pressure is minus 14 inch H2O. As you can see from the table that, Calibration range is minus 44 inch H2O to minus 14 inch H2O. Note down one thing that you will always get negative range, when you measure level in closed tank with wet impulse line. Here, negative sign indicates that low port of DP transmitter is higher pressure than high port of DP transmitter. In other words, whenever you see negative calibration range, it indicates that DP transmitter low side has higher pressure as compared to high side of DP transmitter. Closed tank with wet impulse line always gives you negative calibration range. Now, you won't be able to set negative calibration range in DP transmitter. So, just set 44 inch H2O as lower range value, and set 14 inch H2O as upper range value in DP transmitter. So, now, whenever you see lower range value is higher than upper range value. It means wet impulse line is connected with low port of DP transmitter. Now, how to measure oil level in closed tank with a DP transmitter? Let's assume that process fluid is crude oil in this example. In other words, tank is filled with crude oil 48 API, and its specific gravity is 0.79. Let's also assume that wet impulse line is filled with glycerin, and its specific gravity is 1.263. And remaining all conditions are same from previous example. In other words, DP transmitter is installed 10 inch below from 0 percentage baseline, and height of wet impulse line is 54 inch. Now, let's go to calculation table. As you can see from the table that, at zero percentage level, DP transmitter high port has 10 inch H2O pressure, and it multiplied with specific gravity of oil, which is 0.79 in this example. 10 multiply with 0.79 gives 7.9. So, transmitter high input side has 7.9 inch H2O pressure at zero percentage level. Similarly, at zero percentage level, DP transmitter low side has 54 inch H2O pressure, and it multiplied with specific gravity of glycerin, which is 1.263. And, it gives 68.20. Here, wet impulse line is filled with glycerin, and this is a reason that, we multiply height of wet impulse line with specific gravity of glycerin. So, transmitter low port side has 68.20 inch H2O pressure at 0% level. Now, differential pressure is input high side pressure minus input low side pressure. So, 7.9 minus 68.20 is minus 60.3. And we can say that differential pressure is 60.3 at 0% level. Now, let's understand table for 100 percentage level. At 100 percentage level, DP transmitter input high side has 40 inch H2O pressure, and it multiplied with specific gravity of crude oil, which is 0.79.
So, it gives 31.6. Here, 40 inches total distance from transmitter to 100 percentage level. So, DP transmitter high side has 31.6 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. Similarly, DP transmitter low port side has 54 inch H2O pressure, and it multiplied with specific gravity of glycerin. And it gives 68.20. So, transmitter low port side has 68.20 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. And differential pressure is minus 36.6 inch H2O at 100 percentage level. Here, negative calibration range indicates that, it is close tank level measurement with wet impulse line. Now, set positive 60.3 is lower range value in transmitter and set positive 36.6 as upper range value in transmitter. In a conclusion, whenever you see lower range value is higher than upper range value, it means it is closed tank level measurement. First of all, how to measure water level in open tank with differential pressure transmitter and bubble pipe? As you can see from the picture that, differential pressure transmitter is installed 10 inch below from minimum level of liquid in a tank. And high port side of DPT is connected with bubble pipe. Now, set the purge rotameter until there is a constant stream of small air bubbles. Because of bubble pipe, transmitter position does not affect calibration range, and we can neglect transmitter installation. So, even though transmitter is installed 10 inch below from 0 percentage baseline, it does not affect calibration range. As you can see from the picture that low port side of DPT remains in open to air. In other words, it does not connect with anything. Therefore, low port side is 0 inch H2O pressure, and it does not affect the calibration range. Now, Let's go to calculation table in order to calculate range for DP transmitter. As you can see from the table that, at 0 percentage level, transmitter high side has 0 inch H2O pressure. As I said earlier, due to dry leg, transmitter position does not affect calibration range. Similarly, transmitter low side is an open to air. So, transmitter low side has 0 inch H2O pressure. Now, Differential pressure is difference of input high side pressure and input low side pressure. So, at zero percentage level, differential pressure is zero inch H2O. Now, let's understand calculation for 100 percentage level. At 100 percentage level, transmitter high side has 30 inch H2O pressure. 30 inch is a distance from zero percentage level to 100 percentage level. As we know, transmitter low side is an open to air. So, transmitter low side has 0 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. Now, differential pressure is 30 inch H2O at 100 percentage level. And calibration range is 0 inch H2O to 30 inch H2O. Now, we have to set 0 inch H2O as lower range value, and we have to set 30 inch H2O as upper range value in DP transmitter by using heart communicator. Now, how to measure level in close tank with differential pressure transmitter and dry impulse line. This method of liquid measurement is also known as dry leg method. As you can see from the picture that, differential pressure transmitter is installed 10 inch below from 0 percentage baseline. High port side of DP transmitter is connected with tank. And process fluid in a tank puts pressure on high side of DP transmitter. This pressure is also known as wet leg. Low port side of DP transmitter is connected with impulse line. And impulse line is filled with gas or air. It is known as dry leg. Since impulse line is filled with gas or air, it does not put any kind of pressure on low port side of DP transmitter. In addition to this, height of dry impulse line does not affect level measurement in dry leg calibration method. Hence, low port side of DP transmitter has 0 inch H2O pressure. 
Now, let's assume that process fluid specific gravity is 0.9 in this example. Let's go to calculation table. As you can see from the table that, at 0 percentage level, DP transmitter high port side has 10 inch H2O pressure. This pressure multiply with specific gravity of fluid, which is 0.9 in this example. 10 multiply with 0.9 gives 9. So, at 0 percentage level, transmitter high side has 9 inch H2O pressure. As we know that, DP transmitter low port side is connected with dry impulse line. So, DP transmitter low port side has 0 inch H2O pressure at 0 percentage level and 100 percentage level. Now, input high side pressure minus input low side pressure gives differential pressure. So, differential pressure is 9 inch H2O at 0 percentage level. Now, let's understand the calculation for 100 percentage level. At 100 percentage level, pressure acting on high port side is 40 inch H2O. And it multiply with specific gravity of process fluid, which is 0 0.9 in this example. So, it gives 36 inch H2O. As we know that, DP transmitter low side has 0 inch H2O pressure. So, differential pressure is 36 inch H2O at 100 percentage level. In this example, lower range value is 9 inch H2O. And upper range value is 36 inch H2O. So, we need to set 9 inch H2O as lower range value. And we need to set 36 inch H2O as upper range value in DP transmitter by using Hart calibrator. In conclusion, level measurement in closed tank with dry impulse line always gives positive calibration range for DP transmitter. As you can see from the diagram, this is the example of dual remote diaphragm seal on closed tank. First of all, it is important to understand that the transmitter position does not affect the calculation when dual remote seals are used. In other words, it does not matter whether the transmitter is at, below or above the bottom tap when dual remote seals are used. And the LRV and URV are the same for all three conditions. As you can see, in this example, the distance between bottom tap and maximum level height is 30 inches. And the elevation distance between lower seal tap and upper seal tap is 40 inches. In addition to this, remote seal is filled with glycerin. And specific gravity of glycerin is 1.263. And process fluid is water, and its specific gravity is 1. So, at 0% or at minimum level, DP transmitter high side has 0 inches H2O pressure, which is multiplied with specific gravity of water, which gives 0 inches H2O. At the same time, DP transmitter low side port has 40 inches H2O pressure, which multiplies with specific gravity of glycerin, which gives 50.52 inches H2O pressure. In this case, differential pressure is minus 50.52 inches H2O at 0% level or, at minimum level. And this is our lower range value in this example. Similarly, at 100% level or, at maximum level, DP transmitter's high port side has 30 inches H2O pressure, which multiplies with specific gravity of water, and it gives 30 inches H2O. At the same time, DP transmitter low side has 40 inches H2O pressure, which multiplies with specific gravity of glycerin, which gives 50.52 inches H2O pressure. So, the differential pressure is minus 20.52 inches H2O at 100% level. And this is our upper range value in this example. So, in this example, DP transmitter gives 4 mA output, when differential pressure is minus 50.52 inches H2O. And DP transmitter gives 20 mA output, when differential pressure is minus 20.52 inches H2O. As you can see, this is the example when DP transmitter is installed above low seal and 0% level is also above low seal. However, as we discussed earlier, transmitter location does not affect calibration range calculation, when dual seals are used. So, 
In this example, LRV and URV will remain same as previous example. However, the transmitter mounting elevation must be considered when one diaphragm is connected to tank, and other diaphragm open to atmosphere. As you can see, in this example, the low side of DP transmitter is open to atmosphere. So, in this case, we need to calculate elevation of transmitter from low seal, when we calculate calibration range of DP transmitter. Let's take this example to understand the LRV and URV calculation when differential pressure transmitter is installed 10 inch below from minimum level of liquid in tank. As we know that, input high side pressure minus input low side pressure is known as differential pressure. In this example, all the measurements are in feet. And we have converted feet into inches by multiplying with 12. So, let's try to understand the calculation, at zero percentage level, DP transmitter high port side pressure is equal to, 6 multiply with 12 and 1. And it gives 72 inches H2O. Here, 6 feet is distance between zero percentage level and transmitter. And 1 is a specific gravity of process fluid, which is inside the tank. Similarly, at zero percentage level, DP transmitter low port side pressure is equal to, 20 multiply with 12 and 0 0.9. And it gives 216 inches H2O. Here, 20 is total distance between transmitter and 100 percentage level. And 0 0.9 is specific gravity of impulse line fluid. So, the lower range value is equal to, 72 minus 216 which gives 144 inches H2O. So, minus 144 inches H2O is lower range value in this example. Let's understand the upper range calculation. At 100 percentage level, DP transmitter high port side pressure is equal to, 20 multiply with 12 and 1. And it gives 240 inches H2O. Here, 20 is total distance from transmitter to 100 percentage level. And 1 is specific gravity of process fluid, which is inside the tank. Similarly, at 100 percentage level, DP transmitter low port side pressure is equal to, 20 multiply with 12 and 0 0.9. And it gives 216 inches H2O. Here, 0 0.9 is specific gravity of process fluid, which is inside the impulse line. So, upper range value is equal to, 240 minus 216, which gives 24 inches H2O. So, upper range value is 24 inches H2O. And lower range value is minus 144 inches H2O. Now, let's go to the next example. In this example, DP transmitter is installed at 0% level of tank. So, let's try to understand the calculation for this example. At zero percentage level, DP transmitter high port side pressure is equal to, zero multiply with 12 and 1. And it gives zero inches H2O. Here, DP transmitter is installed at zero percentage level of tank. So, the distance between transmitter and zero percentage level is zero in this example. And one is a specific gravity of process fluid which is inside the tank. Similarly, at zero percentage level, DP transmitter low port side pressure is equal to, 14 multiply with 12 and 0 0.9. And it gives 151.2 inches H2O. Here, 14 is total distance between transmitter and 100 percentage level. And 0 0.9 is specific gravity of process fluid, which is inside impulse line. So, the lower range value is equal to, 0 minus 151.2. Which gives minus 151.2 inches H2O. So, minus 151.2 inches H2O is lower range value in this example. Let's understand the upper range calculation. At 100 percentage level, DP transmitter high port side pressure is equal to, 14 multiply with 12 and 1. 
and it gives 168 inches H2O. Here, 14 is total distance from transmitter to 100 percentage level. And 1 is specific gravity of process fluid, which is inside the tank. Similarly, at 100 percentage level, DP transmitter low port side pressure is equal to, 14 multiply with 12 and 0 0.9. And it gives 151.2 inches H2O. Here, 0 0.9 is specific gravity of process fluid, which is inside the impulse line. So, upper range value is equal to, 168 minus 151.2, which gives 16.8 inches H2O. So, upper range value is 16.8 inches H2O. And lower range value is minus 151.2 inches H2O. Thank you friends for watching this video. Please give me your valuable feedback in comment box. And please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notifications when we post next video.